what is going on fellow Autobots and Decepticons, welcome back to Rollout Nation, and yes, we are here to talk about Robots in Disguise, and we haven't been here for a little bit about Robots in Disguise because there's been a lot of news in regards to the last night. I just did a video a few hours ago talking about Star Seekers possibly being in Transformers the last night. If you guys want to go check it out, go check it out. But today we're here to discuss Robots in Disguise Season 3, and Season 3 is coming. They have been greenlit for Season 3 for a release of fall of this year, so we'll be coming back, and it'll be back on Cartoon Network, obviously, it won't be going back to the hub or anything like that, which we would all want, but it's not going to happen, it's going to be on Cartoon Network, because they've been killing it on Cartoon Network lately, so. Um, anyway, here, this is my video to discuss what I would like to see done in Season 3, and some characters that I would also like to see come into Season 3. Now the first thing I want to say is that Season 3 will definitely mark the end for Robots in the Skies because once Season 3 is done, they're going to start promoting for the movie and most likely we're going to get another new series. I'm not sure what it might be. Will it follow, robots, follow the events after Robots in the Skies? I highly doubt so because I think they're probably going to end it and they're probably going to start off something new. That's, probably, that's my guess. I think that we're going to get a new series, but I don't think it's going to be mainly focused on that portion so um yes so we're gonna go into mainly what i want as season three in terms of plot character and overall for season three so the first thing that i want in season three is that i really really would want to see um two dips, two separate storylines i want to see a storyline with bumblebee and the rest of the autobots and optimus prime and the hit the other autobots on cybertron now they did hint at it towards the season two finale that prime is going back to cybertron to discuss some things that are going on and potential things that could happen with their team so that'd be an interesting storyline to go off of and then we have of course bumblebee and the other autobots making a permanent base on Earth and, you know, fighting off what other, other auto Decepticons there could be. So, um, yeah. Um, the other thing that I uh, also know that's going to happen is that we're definitely going to see Steeljaw come back. I mean, that's kind of like the running gag throughout all these these seasons. I see Steeljaw as the main villain. He'll be back for Season 3, I guarantee you he'll be back. I don't think they're going to replace him with another villain. And, uh, yeah. Um, the, that's what I want out of plot. So... That'll be interesting. The other thing that I really want too is that I really want to see more of more other Prime characters. Like I want to see more of the Transformers Prime team because we got to see Ratchet and we got to see other Soundwave, which was also very very cool. I like that episode where we got to see Soundwave, but I really like to see some other characters showing up. Like for example, maybe RC, maybe Bulkhead, maybe Wheeljack, something along those lines. I would like to see it, and most likely we'll get it. Again, with the Prime story, going back to Cybertron and talking about, you know, what happened. So, um, I would like to see that. Um, also, I'd like to see more Decepticon characters, like maybe Starscream or maybe someone else. That would be very interesting, you know, just to add more stuff to it and also, you know, just make more fun out of it. That would be very cool to see, too, if they ever do that as well. The other thing that I want to see too is more character development because along the two seasons we'll be getting some really good character development for all the characters and I really want to see more of that and see where that goes. And also I kind of want to see um, them becoming more more than a team like if you know what I mean because Transformers Prime they were like a family like those people were all family they all like work together perfectly and I kind of want Season 3 to go off with a bang, and I want it to end the Transformers Prime storyline in a good way. Because Robots in the Skies, like I said, is not a bad uh, series. It's a good series. It's it's a good uh, continuation of where Prime left off. So, um, let's just see how it ends. That's just another thing I want to see. And the other thing that I want is, uh, I want Jazz to come back, okay? Everyone knows that Jazz was in Season 1. Everyone loved him in the first, in that one episode he was in. I want him to come back for Season 3. I thought he was going to come back for Season 2, but apparently he didn't. So, hopefully he makes an appearance in Season 3. I really want to see that. So, that would be very cool if he comes back. And, you know, like I said, he's kind of like the Wheeljack character of Robots in the Sky. He shows up for one episode, and then comes back for another season. So, hopefully he'll be back in Season 3. That would be very, very cool. Another thing that I think they're, might gonna, they're probably going to do is they're probably going to bring back Megatronus, because I feel like... 
they're, they're setting up a big villain for Season 3. I don't know who, but I feel like they are setting it up for a huge villain. But if it is going to be any villain, I feel like it's going to be Megatronus, because they've been kind of hinting at it, and I think that they will probably do it for Season 3 if they want to end it off with a big villain of some sorts. And uh, finally, this is one that I kind of want to see, and they hinted it at Season 1's finale, and I want to see it done in Season 3. And that is Give Us a Rescue Bots and Robots in Disguise crossover episode. They have hint they hinted at it at Season 1 finale, and I think that they, it's a perfect opportunity to do it now because they're ending off Robots in Disguise. Um, big movies coming up. Season 4 for Rescue Bots is already happening now, and just let it happen. I want to see it done, and I'm, it's perfect. I think the two series kind of have the same flow. And it would be perfect to establish that in the Rescue Bots universe, as well as the Robots in the Skies universe, if they want to, you know, find a way to connect those two series together. Because they've been trying so hard to connect Transformers Prime and Robot and set Rescue Bots together. And it's been kind of ups and downs with that, and one crossover episode I think would perfect would be perfect for the series. So, that is it for my predictions for Robots in the Sky Season 3. Not a whole lot, but I there's some predictions that I want ha happen, and some that I hope that don't happen too. For instance, I don't want to see, again, the running gag of new Decepticon every week. I kind of want to have different flow, and I do want to see some older Decepticons as well as some older Autobots come back too. So that'd be very interesting. So let me know in the comments below what are your predictions for Season 3 of Robots in the Skies, and also uh, let me know in the comments below what you want to see for Rescue Bot Season 4, and if you want to see the crossover episode happen too. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We are Rollout Nation, and we always roll out. See you next time. Also, I hope you enjoy the new intro for Robots in the Skies talk. That's basically my new uh, intro when it comes to Robots in the Skies talk. And we have like separate ones for last night, Robots in the Skies talk. And also next week we'll be starting this new segment called the TF Central. Where basically, where any type of Transformers news based, based off of toys will happen on that segment. So, be a lookout for that. So, see you next time.